Hey, this is Reverend coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get off that Tony Hedgehog! Hell yeah! Brian Redband, it's us. You're hey. at Kill Tony, ladies and gentlemen, live from the comedy store. You gotta make some fucking noise, people. We're alive. We're used to being on the road where people are excited to see us. They don't take it for granted, so we need a little more love than usual. We're back. We just finished the fucking summer tour, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We flew in from New York City this morning after a bunch of wildly successful shows. Two sold-out shows at the Gramercy Theater with Mark Norman as a secret guest and Gilbert Gottfried as a secret guest. What? What? You get to listen to an episode of Kill Tony with the legend killer Gilbert Gottfried himself? Yeah. One of our top-ranked... Yes, great impression, Brian. Yeah. Uh, so uh, things are exciting. We had a Legion of Skanks episode at Skankfest with the Legion of Skanks. And we did another amazing. episode with Bonnie McFarlane, Rich Voss, and Ari Shafir. I'm so pumped to be home, yeah. though. We're very excited to be back. And we have a very special show for you here tonight. You guys excited about this? It's the number one live podcast in the world. And it goes on and on. We can't understand how we last so long. Uh, and it continues. July 10th, we just added a date for the first time ever in Plano, Texas. Uh, July 10th. That's really exciting. Right before we do Fort Worth on July 11th, which was already planned, and that's already sold out. Three stand-up shows in Fort Worth following that. So we get to do some stand-up comedy again, like yeah, the good old like days. Yeah, the old days. Yeah. I remember doing that. So much fun. July 25th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the Fillmore Theater, our largest ever Kill Tony in our history. And uh, some fun facts, I do stand-up in Florida this August and September. I'm in Miami, August 8th to the 10th at the Miami Improv, and then West Palm Beach Improv, September 5th through the 7th. And then I also have uh, Tempe coming up, Tempe, Arizona, making my return. Just stand-up comedy, but Kill Tony's in October in Sacramento and San Francisco. And when I tell you we have a big Kill Tony touring announcement, another global announcement, I mean it. Stay tuned to an upcoming episode. For that, yes. Bicycle horn for that one. <laughs> for an exciting announcement. Uh, and, you know, we've been doing the road, and it, uh, it is exhausting, and it really lets you know where you are in life. And, uh, you know, we, you do all this stuff, and time catches up with you. The road hits you yeah. hard. And uh, we're getting older, and with age comes wisdom. And one of those things... <laughs> to where getting older can be a downer in one area specifically, and I'm talking about erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Uh, it's a very serious situation, but thanks to ForHims.com, we found a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. You know, I'm a lot older, and it hits you yep. really, really hard. I mean, that's why I date such a young Asian woman. But, like, I used to go to gas stations and buy, like, these pills. You don't know what's inside those pills. Sometimes I had really bad blood pressure and I was, had trails and everything. You shouldn't do that. Those, those, those boner pills at gas stations suck. That's why if you just go on your computer, you can talk to a real doctor. And, like, in just a couple questions, you can get prescribed real ED medication. It's true. Being your best means performing your best. Hard made easy. Say hello to your little friend. And you could try hymns for a month today for just five dollars. We'll get you started for just five bucks while supplies last. Prescription products are subject to doctor approval and require an online consultation with a physician who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. See website for full details and safety information. This could cost hundreds if you went to a person at the doctor's office or the pharmacy. Instead, go to forhims.com slash kill. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash kill. Forhims.com slash kill. 
So you guys ready to start tonight's episode or what? We are live. It is happening from the comedy store where it all started, up in the belly room with six people in the room. We've now traveled the entire globe and we fill up the main room every fucking Monday. Are you guys excited about this? Every single episode, we have one of the funniest comedians in the world on as our guest. This week, of course, is no different. One of our favorite human beings. You know him from so many great comedy appearances on uh, so many things, Comedy Central. And, of course, our, one of our favorite shows in the world, The Impractical Jokers. Ladies and gentlemen, Sal Volcano, everyone! He's back! Yeah! We love Sal. We love Sal. We love Sal. There you go. You guys caught on really they quick. They got on it. That one. one guy definitely loves me up front. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. I see you. Heck yeah. I love it. Uh, What's up, everybody? Yeah. Pumped to have you back. Very excited. Oh, yeah. Ryan J.E. Belt is also here, ladies and gentlemen, drawing every episode. He made great prints for the uh, New York run and all the other oh, the Texas of this poster. Tour. He just showed us the Texas poster. That's nice. fucking awesome. So cool. Wild West homage uh, style poster that we're going to be lugging out to Plano and Fort Worth with us. And uh, I'm so glad that you're uh, back with us, Sal. We've had so much fun together on this show, on the Impractical Jokers cruise, so many fun things that we've done. Uh, how's life? Life is good. Life yeah. is good. Keeping busy, working. That's right. And uh, I'm just all about this right now. Yep. I've you're one of our favorite people to watch brand new or sometimes returning comedians. Sometimes it's a comedy vet trying to get some exposure. You never know who's going to get pulled out of this bucket. But as you know, Sal, this show also has a band, everybody. You guys like bands at all? The band. It is the band. It's the best damn band in the land. And every single episode, they commit to being different characters. I never know what they're going to be. They have a separate green room on the other side of our green room. And uh, they've been getting into character. Uh, Jeremiah Watkins is still in New York City. Um, he he uh, will not be with us tonight. Piece of shit. Yeah, exactly. What a goddamn traitor. He got hit w by a beer bottle no, last it was, night. No, it, it was a half-filled water bottle, Brian. Oh, well, but uh, way, to, way to really I tried to some up the story a little for Jeremiah. Yeah, <laughs> no, he took a half a bottle of water to the face. and but he, but, it, but he nurtured it like it was a glass bottle, that's for sure. The ice pack. The, <laughs> that's a lot of property was, right he there. looked like he got bit by a mosquito but uh, i was there the night someone on mushrooms a uh, comic on mushrooms tried to attack him yeah i was there for yeah. that oh, that's yeah, right yeah, were. yeah so that was i don't know what that yeah epic night Just so but, but we have uh we have the rest of the band for you they're the best damn band of land you guys it, we, maybe it's the return of uh one of their famous characters maybe it's a brand new character we don't know what's going to happen but uh tonight's an exciting night because chroma chris is going to have to step it up Make some noise for the Kill Tony band, Joelberg, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. Here we go. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is very exciting. This appears to be some type of uh, beach bums of some kind. They appear to be beachgoers or something like that. This is very exciting. Uh, <laughs> my God. Wow, this is incredible. Wow. Uh, so we have, uh, we have Chroma Chris, who uh, clearly tonight is what a beachgoer of some kind. Right on, Tony. My name's Dax. Oh. <laughs> hey, Dax. Fuck yeah. And then um, back here, we have what appears to be Mexican Nicki Minaj. Uh, hello. My name is Janessa. Janessa. Wow. These are brand new characters, guys. This is exciting. <laughs> Jan Jan I'm from Venice Beach. You're from Venice Beach, huh? You heard that right. Wow. <laughs> Look at those fucking little tatas you got in there. Wow. All right. Heck yeah. My, okay. I'm a slut. Are you a slut? I love it. Janessa the slut. 
We got Dax with us. You got a nair a little underneath your belly button. I love it. Uh, fun fact, uh, uh, Sal, one of the things that you missed at uh, Skankfest, which uh, you were very, very missed, was the Naked Roast. And at the last minute, they had one of the judges pull out. And for those of you that don't know, Naked Roast is, uh, is when people roast battle each other completely butt naked. Uh, it's a very top secret, uh, exclusive show to where absolutely no phones or cameras are allowed out. So it's pretty much kept secret. But it packs out its insanity, and all the judges are naked too. And they had a last minute fallout for a judge, and they asked Joel, who at the time was uh, sort of, you know, only famous to the Kill Tony fans at the festival, guest judge. And he came out, and now I call Joel Mr. Potato Head because it turns out Joel has a fucking sausage festival in his pants. Three potatoes high. It is incredible. He became instantly famous at the festival. He has a gigantic cock, ladies and gentlemen. So we found this out. He literally became the, one of the stars of the festival from the very beginning. It is, I literally, and I talked about this on the bonfire the next day with Dan Soder and Big J. I literally, Sal, I almost passed out from laughing so hard. <laughs> I, I, everybody was look. It, he came out and the entire audience started looking at me because they wanted to see my reaction to his giant dick. It was w one of the funniest things ever. The fact that he's kept that secret from us and tucked into those fucking underwear somehow. Like I've all, I, he's it's the so guy painful. who's he, he's the guy whose dick I feel like I've almost seen the most. Yeah. And now that I've seen it, I I don't know how I haven't seen it. I caught Tony the next morning just drawing on a napkin his dick many times. It <laughs> was fucking go. weird. There you go. <laughs> yes, I was drawing his napkin many, many times on a napkin. His dick on a napkin. It's true. His giant dick. Actual size on a napkin. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we have the band. We have Paper Sal. Towel. We have Red Band. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Ryan J. And this, my friends, the Bucket of Destiny will decide our fate for the evening. Anything can happen. Anybody can sign up. It's literally a chaotic show. We met a bunch of crazy people this past week in New York City and over this entire tour, and anything can happen here tonight. Maybe it's the return of uh, somebody that we've seen many times. Maybe it's a brand new comedian for their first time that traveled to get here. Uh, anything can happen. Anyone can sign up before the show. And if I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted to do stand-up at that microphone. Then we interview you afterwards and talk with you about what else maybe is interesting about you and what else you could talk about. Uh, you know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. You guys ready to start this shit or what? We are live from the comedy store. Guys... Guys, you're going to need to do fucking better than that. Are you guys ready to start the show tonight or what? Here we go. And your first comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight and then talking with us afterwards goes by the name of Haley Hackett, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've seen Lucky Haley corner. before. Here she comes. Getting us started. Haley Hackett. One more time for Haley, everybody. Hey. So I had a stark realization the other day. I was trying to log into Hulu, right, to watch some cartoons because I was super high. <laughs> and here's the thing. Like, I can't watch live action when I'm high. You know, like, I see the acting. Like, you see Owen Wilson. I see Owen Wilson staring in the mirror practicing his lines and pretending to be Owen Wilson. Like, it's rough. But I was trying to log into Hulu, and it asked me the question, like, are you a robot, right? I'm like, I don't think they're trying to figure out if I'm a robot. I think they're trying to figure out if I'm too high, because I could not pass that test. <laughs> like, I was sitting there like, whoa, what is a storefront anyways? Like... This could be a pop-up shop in the next few months, you know? I'm not trying to limit this bridge's potential. I refreshed it thinking that my answers were too smart, you know? I was like, it's just a little abstract. Let's try again, you know? And it was like, oh, identify the signs. I was like, whoa, who am I to identify signs? I am not qualified. Like, I'm not God. All right, thank you. There you go, Haley Hackett, getting it started. 
A little Hulu joke. Hell yeah. Haley, how long have you been doing stand-up? Now it's like seven months. Seven months? Yeah, you saw me during my first time. That was your first time on this show. Heck yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And there you are. It took a little while to get there, but once you started hitting it through combinations, you have your your towel wrapped around your neck. Did you just come from the beach? (laughs) No, I remember the shower. What's the shower? <laughs> oh, Janessa, you dirty, dirty girl back there. Look at that. Look at that That's little. Right. I love that little slut bounce you do back and forth. Oh my look at God. that. Look at them titties. Yeah. She's got such a huge cock. <laughs> yeah, <it's> just, <laughs> for a girl, she's got a huge yeah, cock she, for a girl. Huge. She, she really does. It's 2019. That shit's just fully acceptable. Yes. Uh, she's like a girl. So, Haley, uh, how's it going? It's going well. Seven months you've been doing this. I've been all doing this seven months. All yeah. in Los Angeles. All in Los Angeles. What's your day job? My day. I'm a receptionist now. Heck yeah. yeah. Now, what were you doing before? <laughs> oh shit. Yep. Oh. I mean, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've done so many things. I was like a Lyft driver. I worked at the escape room. I did pokey for a while. I was an associate producer for a hot second. What? Oh now I'm a receptionist. Heck like, yeah, you've gone full circle. Yeah. The, the well, Hollywood conundrum. I, I yeah. might not know. I'm, what does I did pokey for a while mean? I, I was a pokey artist. Oh, it means so I made pokey bowls. <laughs> Ah, oh. really chef you don't up. even have to cook fish and you throw it in with some lettuce. That's I didn't, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. My boss yelled at me all the time. He didn't like my art. Wow. It was up. That's called pokey? It's, or poke. I don't know. I don't oh. know if he was incorrect or like, by, you know what I mean? Everyone coming in was no, incorrect. No, I thought it was fucking poke. So I don't know. Oh. Know. I'm from the East Coast. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'll take one of those fucking, <laughs> hey, give me one of those fucking poke bowls. <laughs> Do you say gyro, You guys too? got poke? You guys got poke here? Gyros. Do you say gyro, too? Gyro. Yeah, I say gyro. What is, what is the real term for it? Euro. euro. Yeah, West Coast people always say euro. What? Yeah, exactly. See, East Coast people what are ignorant. Like, it's gyro. Euro. euro? You call it a gyro. Euro. You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. What do you, it's gyro. What do you call mm. the candy with peanut butter This inside? is not about me. Okay, right. This is interesting. Wow. I'm, just, wow. I'm very passionate about I already about feel this. stupid about like the I'm gyro and the poke. Okay. Actually, both of those things sound nothing like food. <laughs> I love pho. <faux. laughs> pho? Yeah. yeah, how do you call pho? <laughs> I say pho, although it's, I know it's pho, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't wow, subscribe. we're all dumb and uncultured. <laughs> 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 Janessa, what's your favorite food? Penis. <laughs> uh, I think you mean penis, so... <laughs> It's pretty yeah. so. So Haley, you've been doing a lot of open mics over the past yeah. seven months. You get a lot of uh, you, you uh, have you uh hooked up with a comedian yet? Yeah. Yeah, that open mic scene. You guys don't know because you're fucking normal people. <laughs> uh, but uh, the open mic scene, you uh, end up uh, only being able to really relate to other people, sort of also doing what you're doing, and oh, you no. see them night after night, and sometimes you get bored. You have a couple drinks, okay. No, and, I've uh, sworn off them. Absolutely not. When I first started, I was like, oh, wow, he's funny. Now I'm like, nope, never yeah. again. They're all unstable. No offense. You all are crazy. Right. I'm sorry. No, it's yeah. true. So, so you, you, uh, did you guys poke? Or? Yeah, we poked. <laughs> you let him we poke your ball? We poked at the pokey shop <laughs> like shit, you know? <laughs> For show. Sure. Heck yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. And uh, so now you're single? Yeah. That's fun. And you're working as a receptionist. What's your living situation? You live with other comedians or... No, I, I live with, like, screenwriters. Oh, yeah. they're never going to make it. <laughs> you mean you mean baristas. You live with baristas. <laughs> My one roommate works at the AT&T store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, what's that like? You have your own bedroom or something like no, that? No, right. I, I sleep with two other people. Not in the same Ooh. bed, yeah. <laughs> Not in the same bed. <laughs> right, not in the same bed. Different, different beds, but the same room. Very much the same room. Uh, how many rooms are in the place? Two. So there's three in one room. How many in the other? There's three. two. No, it's a couple in the other. They're okay. all cute and so shit. So there's five people yeah. total in the apartment. How, and many then ba- how many bathrooms? There's two. Wow, so that's the good. So the three people do the like one bathroom. And then if someone's trying to get laid, we just pull one of the mattresses out into the living room. Ah, yeah. living We're very considerate. What the fuck living is going room. on in this apartment? Yeah, this is how it <laughs> works. You're dragging mattresses out, all helping each other fuck and everything? Yeah. The couple, too? We're supportive. No, the couple fucks in their room. How old are you? I'm 22. That makes a lot yeah. more sense now. How okay. old did you think I was? I don't know, but yeah, you're, you live in a fuck question. house, and you just... Yeah, I, I just that's uh, true. I, I don't see this kind of thing. You're eating poke, no, you're no, fucking it, people. It, it's true. 
Yeah. It's, it's true. It, I'm four. I'm going to be 43. You're, I don't you're successful now. So, uh, you're successful, Sal. So you don't have to deal with this stuff. But yeah. uh, the, a lot of a lot of the open mic lifestyle is a lot like uh, parts of the Impractical Jokers show. Yeah. Like, <laughs> all right, here's the deal. You have to try to have sex with her, but you're going to have to convince her to do it in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> Impractical pokers. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> That's where you guys chant Joelberg. I don't know where these tourists came from tonight, but uh, obviously it's a lot of people's first time at this show. How many uh, webcams does your apartment have? Like, uh, like how many computers do we have? Yeah. About I mean, about four. In the in the bathroom. How many are in like the bedrooms? Okay, Brian. Uh, no one knows where you're trying to red ban. Wow. So that Red Bull kicks in hard at the top of the show. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm drinking Caveman Coffee Nitro Cold Brew. Oh, wow. Hell Holy yeah. Don't forget, use the promo code KILLTONY. Save 15% on all orders of delicious cold nitro cold brew I mean, coffee, wow, which we really, really swear by and love. Does um, that keep you up at night? What? Does that keep you up at night? Caffeine does, yes. Yeah? Are yeah. you planning to go to sleep? Yeah. Okay. Just, what time do you go to bed, the lady? What's up with your questions? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you like living your dreams right now? No, All right. I'm Haley, just tell us something that we'd be surprised to know about you. Anything oh. interesting uh, happened recently or in your life? Or? Recently or yeah. in my life? Like, I, I just thought of a random thing, but like, I, I've tattooed someone before. I've done like a lot of weird things to people. Yeah, so you've tattooed someone before. Tattooed someone before. I used to. <laughs> An ex of mine um, <laughs> used to be on testosterone, and I used uh -huh. to put it in his butt for him. Used to sh yeah. shoot the shot in his butt. Yeah. Wow. It is weird. <laughs> Did you tell him you're going to feel you just a slight like poke? Poked him. <laughs> I poked him. <laughs> Side. I'm just thinking you will never hear shit. more poke like, jokes than tonight. I promise you There's that. A lot it's a guarantee. I'm going to keep it going through from all the, the rest comedy of the comedy store. It's the Pokey Bowl. <laughs> I thought you were going to do a, an Owen Wilson impression. That's where I thought you were headed with that. Really? I don't even... No, I, of course. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 if we go back to the, to the set, because I want to yeah. also give you like, uh, you know, is that all right? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I mean, that was relatable when you like had to prove yourself you weren't a robot, because that happens sure. to me all the time. I, and I, yeah. I, I, mean, I swear that I click the street signs or the, or the front door signs, the front store signs all the time, and yeah. it still fucking doesn't verify me. So I had a real nice laugh internally at that part. <laughs> um, prior... Prior, I didn't really know where you were going because you brought Owen Wilson up, but then we didn't really get anywhere with Owen Wilson. Sure. So I would just like get to the to that other stuff. Unless you have I, something you want to explore. I agree. Listen to that set again and cut out all the information that you don't have a direct punchline for. If there's not a reason for Owen Wilson, you don't need to paint that picture for the people because the stuff that's funny isn't the Owen Wilson stuff. Okay. Yeah. There you go. We're going to do that. Right. Thank you. And that's your first comedian of the night, Haley Hackett, ladies and gentlemen. And we have begun. She's on Twitter, at Haley Hackett, all one word. H-A-C-K-E-T-T. -T. You guys having fun already? Huh? You get it? This is interesting. It seems like an industry-heavy room tonight. Yeah, I right? feel like there's a lot of people. Uh, I, sometimes I forget how like mellow Hollywood is. Yeah. It's weird seeing real people and then going back. That's to the catch with doing the road is you realize like, oh, great audiences are great audiences. And then you come back home and everybody's like, oh, let's hear, we're here to critique your show. Right? We, we, uh, number one podcast in the world, live podcast will be the decider of that. Um, okay. Put your hands together for your next comedian. How you'll, you'll like this. How about this? Salvatore Fratelloni. This is the real Sal coming up here. Wow, that back corner again. Salvatore Fratelloni. Here he comes. Sally Fratelloni. Oh, yeah. Wow. It looks like a real Salvatore. Of course he has it. <laughs> One more time for Salvatore, everybody. How's it going? I'm aware I look like a mob boss's douchebag son. I look like I'm in charge of pasta night at my fraternity, guys. I know. For some reason, I'm dressed like a background actor on Saved by the Bell, too. I don't, I don't know why I dress like this every day. Um, I, uh, I had sex with a girl recently. Yeah. And I, uh, I came on her chest. Yeah. Right after I came on her chest, she goes, this is true. Did you really have to toast or strudel me? What? 
Also, I didn't know it was possible to fuck a girl that's a bigger douchebag than I am. Like, I don't think it should work out that way. All right, I'm gonna duck out early. Thanks, guys. Heck yeah, 52 seconds of Salvatore Fratelloni. Came out guns a-blazing. I love it. Making fun of yourself about Thanks, the way man. you look, and it's all absolutely spot on. Everything you. you said was definitely true. You have the real fucking, and you noticed it as he came up, you have the real Italian fucking, what is that, the ghost the pepper, the, the horn. horn? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Salvatore Fratelloni. So where are you from, Salvatore? All right, this isn't on brand, but I'm from Minnesota. That's wow, Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> that explains the Saved by the Bell look. Well, t- I love that it's, it's permeated culture so much that you, you came up to do a one-minute spot at this, and you're like, it's not on my brand, but uh, <laughs> you can think about the jokes or think about the brand later, you know? For sure. Heck yeah, how long have you been doing stand-up? So about two years fucking around these last three months, been going up every night trying to... What changed three months ago that you t- started taking it more seriously? I uh, stopped smoking weed. That was it. I swear wow. to God. Was there a reason specifically why you stopped smoking weed or it just happened? I, I would go home after work at around seven. I bar back uh, during the day. And bear, bear back, back at night. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, you and I both have dirty minds tonight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that slut. <laughs> so you bar back during the day? Yeah, and then I would go home and like get off at like seven, go home, take a dab, and just be scared in my room. Oh, all night. so you dabbing. were taking dabs? Yeah, all right. The, the, the well, I would like smoke like five backwoods with my buddies after that. That's like, also five different what? than taking one hit of a joint. Yeah. You know that, right? I know. Yeah. I'm just like a like, yeah. Hey, what, what the up. fuck is this guy? Sal, what did Jesus Salvatore? Christ, what did you say? You smoked five what? Backwoods. It's what does like, that mean? It's a it's a blunt wrap that's yeah. real tobacco leaf, and you have to put a lot of weed in there to yeah, roll them you well. You get real fucked up. It's yeah. delicious. Yeah, they're really good. I'm learning some shit this week. Heck there you yeah. go. Uh, so you don't smoke any more pot, but clearly your barber does. Is that your real laugh? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you slipped on a meatball and, and you're trying to keep the tray in your hand. <laughs> wow. So you still bar back during the day. Yeah. And now you're just uh, now you're just staying sober at night. You're mm-hmm. done with the dabs. And uh, what else? What else do you do for fun? <sighs> okay. Uh, I this once again not on brand. I'm an expert at an ancient I'm an expert at an ancient Japanese skill toy game called Kendama. Oh, I think you we know, know about Kendama. it. Kendama absolutely. Our friend Adam 22 uh, yep. actually gave me one. I have one uh, sitting around. It frustrates the shit out of me every time I've tried it. I'm not good at it. Yeah. I'm That's sure. a lot of words to just say you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about him? Yeah. You better be careful back there. You Crazy you're one slut. of the top young rising comedians. Oh, thank you. This yeah. guy, do you have Fred one? Flintstone over here. Yeah. I don't, hell yeah. Do you have one of these on you that you could show us how your I, master? I fu- I should have brought it. Is yeah. Anyone? Yeah, yeah you should have. Can I say? I know your name is Salvatore Fratelloni, and you lean into that. But the things that you're saying that describe you in your real life were funny. We laughed at that part. We laughed at the fact that you stopped smoking because you were afraid in your home and everything. Yeah. So like I would like you. It seems like you're worried about making a brand, but I would just like focus on being. You know, I know maybe you are like this. Like, if you dress like that for real, I do. Yeah. Okay. So you're so you're aware. No, no, I'm not even saying yeah. like you no, have seriously. a certain fashion sense to you. Actually, you're kind of fashionable. Thanks, so, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, but what I'm saying is like you are like rip, you're ripping on yourself. It doesn't go. Well, you're like I don't yeah. know why I look like this. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I would say I don't know why I look like this because yeah. you're cultivating a look, right? Yeah. So if you're gonna lean into it, you know, lean into it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't shy away from the things that you're telling us that go against what we see because that makes you more interesting. Because we're, we're judging you by your look right away. And then if you come up and you kind of are different than what we expected, that's a good thing. Yeah. 100% agree with him. This thing you keep saying about being on brand is that you're, you have not found your brand yet. You know what I mean? You don't want to just be the mafia-looking sun guy, right? Yeah. Like there's so much more to you. And and we need to know about that. The fact that you used to smoke a lot of pot isn't on brand, right? Mm-hmm. The fact that the fact that you're good at the old Japanese art of fucking getting a ball on a stick is not on brand. <laughs> but the point is, is like you have no brand. 
Yeah, I mean, Toaster Strudel isn't on brands, you right. know? Yeah. Have you have you <laughs> always worn, like, your whole life worn that necklace, like, worn, like the sperm on your chest? Thing, you, got, you got that from your dad, right? This, Oh, well, yeah, my, my grandpa uh, has the same name as me. My dad, Salvatore Fratelloni. My dad's name is actually Doug. <laughs> wow. Hysterical. I would joke about it in my act, but yeah, I didn't. I knew I wouldn't have time. Yeah, yeah that is not on brand at all. <laughs> <laughs> you came out guns blade. I like that you got a joke. Your first line was a joke. It was about you. You dug in. You were self-deprecating, like you said. Um, you took me by surprise when you went from like, I know I'm wearing a sweatshirt to I fucking come all over this girl now. You know, <laughs> that, that was a real fucking, you really changed lanes there. <laughs> That's when I started listening. <laughs> <laughs> this is Salvatore, what? One more question. Uh, you said that you got the Italian horn from your grandfather. Fun fact, I have actually been given one of those Italian horn necklaces when I was a little boy uh, by my father. Uh, it's an Italian thing, so that won't work there. Uh, but uh, now I'm interested to know how Italian your grandfather is. What's his name? His name is the same as mine, Salvatore Fratelloni. Oh, wow, yeah. it's the same. Yeah, no. we passed down the name. My dad's brother was named Salvatore, but... How about other Italian? I always love old school Italian names. Do you have any cool, like, fucking Giuseppe? Uh, no, but uh, I had a, a cousin named Joe Baby that was a street fighter. Wow. Never met him, just heard stories about him. Joe Baby Fratelloni. Joe Baby. Oh, I don't oh fucking... Oh, my God. That is the most Italian shit. That Joe is Baby. Jo like, his name's Joe, and you called him Joey Baby. D every, I, I, whenever he, I hear His name's not Joe him, Baby. I don't know. <laughs> I just, when I hear stories about him, my dad's like, oh, yeah, your cousin Joe Baby. He was a street fighter. Everybody hey, calls him Joe Baby. It doesn't seem Italian. It sounds more like a, like a black name to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Doug. Like, hey, get away. This ain't Joe Baby. Oh, we lost them on that one. Oh, yeah, we're good? We're good? This ain't Joe Baby. Know. It's a kumale. <laughs> it ain't Joe Baby. That's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you guys, like, trade your little necklaces and wear each other's necklaces? Would that be cool? Uh, not. We don't really. You do don't that. do that. No, no. it's a, it's a thing. It's a it's a classy fucking thing. Like a classy. We family. pass them down. Like I have family. to have a kid named Salvatore Fratelloni someday, oh. and I give it to him when he's eighteen. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it goes down from generation to generation. It's the type of shit that like guys like uh, me and these sals here. It's like we. This is what we talk about with like Sebastian Maniscalco. You know what I mean? When you're mm. out drinking like Miller Light or whatever right. you fucking yeah. are doing. <laughs> Uh, but that's so awesome, Salvatore. Uh, you're taking it seriously now, and I really respect that. I've been talking with Joel about this a lot lately. Is like, you know, <laughs> talking about talking about trying to measure out the balance between having fun and being a serious comedian. Yep. It's very easy to blur that line, and it's extremely easy to go on stage, have a pretty good to mediocre set while you're stoned or a little bit tipsy and just rationalize that it was okay, and then it doesn't hurt as bad afterwards. But now that you're sober, you're clearly seeing like, ah, oh, that fucking stings, and I want to do better. Yep. And you have to live with that for the rest of the night, and I think that's good to, uh, to alternate with that. I'm saying it's a great thing that yeah. you found yourself by getting sober, so congratulations. Thanks, uh, there he goes. Appreciate you guys, seriously. Salvatore Fratelloni. Fuck yeah, we're having fun up here. I like this episode already. Yes. Having some good, productive, fun fucking times up here. Tony, I want to name my son Pepperoni Salami Capicola <laughs> uh, Marinara Pizza Pie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Very good. Very good. What's <laughs> I forgot your name again. I'll give you a necklace on your chest. Did you say Janessa? Yes. Janessa and... and I forgot Dan who I was for a second. <laughs> wow. What did you want to name him? What did you want to name him? Salami, pepperoni, mortadella, capicola, <laughs> mozzarella, pizza, marinara, meatball sauce. Yes. We show us the nipple. If you did that, that would be ridiculous. If the next person's funny, I'll show them my tits. Yes. It's not a real name. Don't That's fuck just this a up. Twitter handle. You better be funny. You better be funny. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Ashley Kelly, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ashley Kelly. Wow, look at this, coming over the barrier, I love it. I love this. She came from the farthest oh, yeah. part, but she just jumped the fucking couch. She jumped the tent. I love it. One more time, good and loud for Ashley Kelly, everybody. Hi. How you guys doing? Yeah, fuck yeah. Whew, all right, hey, what's up? All right, uh, I feel like, you know, Everyone thinks their parents aren't proud of them. 
Yeah, like people's parents brag about them constantly. But I feel like it's because parents brag about the weirdest shit. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Okay. So I don't know. I feel like, you know, I want my dad to be telling people that I'm like witty and funny and smart. But instead, he's like telling everyone like that I have a low center of gravity. (laughs) My dad's like, yeah, that Ashley dude, she's super athletic. I'm like, I don't even play sports, man. Like, (laughs) for some reason, he's still telling people I made honor band in middle school. (laughs) Like... Uh, no, like, I did grow up with a dad in a wheelchair, though, and, like, looking back on it, thank you, uh, <laughs> it wasn't that bad, because, like, you know, a lot of people were super afraid of their dads, uh, but, like, not me, like, I'd get in trouble with my dad, he'd be like, come here, and I'd be like, no, and just go up a few stairs, that's fine. <laughs> wow. Wow, yowie. Show wow. your tits. Show your tits. Oh, look at that nipples! Oh, oh, oh! 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 Oh, oh!
Oh, he had an accident to get in the wheelchair your yeah, father yeah. did? What, what kind of accident are we talking Are you um, the accident that he had? That, uh, <laughs> no, I'm the, I'm the youngest, so I'm not the accident. I love it. That's so what, what happened to him that, he had to uh, uh, that he, he's in a wheelchair forever now? I mean, it was an accident. Let's be <laughs> honest with him. No, he, I mean, he made, like, millions of dollars in the... His tire, his tire, like, came apart and his car flipped a ton of times. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. His, his, his <laughs> like, tire... Came apart, you say? Yeah. <laughs> right. It was an accident. That's what I'm saying. No, that's Man, the tread, that must the not have been it. a good year. It was oh. A <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tire think, jokes, I ladies like and gentlemen. America's How does he do it? How does he yeah. do it? No, the, the tread came off the tire. That's yeah. Right. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it did. It did. Yeah. Your father was, <laughs> was, you know, someone tried to kill your father. Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe. I'm so yeah. sorry if we're just hashing this out now for the first yeah. time in front of everyone. <laughs> That's but fine. I'm, they, I'm it, open to that answer, too. I mean, my um, family is just all up in the air. I don't know who is, to believe. Is it, true that they, is it true that in the tire they found one of those Italian horns had punctured it? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. fucking Joe, baby. <laughs> Wow. Um, what what else, Ashley? You're 23. What does a girl like you do for fun? Um, uh, when you're not doing stand up. I do a lot of stand up. I have two jobs, so it's not a lot of fun. Two I jobs. I just started watching Game of Thrones. I don't know. It's wow. Still catching up on know. Game of Thrones. Huh? Just started. Yeah. <laughs> what are the two jobs that you have? Uh, waitress and bartender. Hell yeah. I actually I've seen you before. I do Mommy Burger. Uh, I work there. I the one at uh, the farmers market. No, in Irvine. What? Oh. oh no, you asshole! You the one in Irvine. <laughs> it's connected what the to I'm the. I'm so uh, sorry yeah. about him. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's connected to <laughs> the fucking uh, farmers market. What a fucking <laughs> asshole, Irvine yeah. 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 And that night, Tony's tires what? came apart. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I forgot that. Fucking I, Irvine! Pull your head out of your fucking ass. The Umami Burger is connected to the Irvine Improv. There. Uh yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, what, what the fuck is your problem now? You know what he was fucking saying. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What farmers market? Where is that involved? I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure there's one uh, right there at uh, at the farmers market. What? Yeah. <laughs> at the farm. Yeah, there's, there's there's the farmers market at Fairfax and Third. There's a famous farmers oh. market called the farmers market. <laughs> Don't worry, your family yeah, will be moving there next week. What does that have to do with week. umami, though? Wait, what? What, what does that do? You said that you fucking saw me at a fucking umami you burger. Fucking son of it a bitch! It just so happens that oh, I live oh. next Go to ahead. a fucking umami burger. Next to an umami so burger. So I assume he that assumes. you work at the fucking umami the burger fucking that I live umami next to. All right. I'm sorry. But instead, you work at the motherfucking. <laughs> hold on. I pull out my. Wait, I pull out my I pull out my necklace for the first time ever. I assume <laughs> that you fucking weren't at the fuck. I've been to that fucking umami burger one maybe two fucking times. All right, hey, somebody go get mortadella, salami, pepperoni, fucking pizzettes. Yeah. Do yourself a favor. Check the tread on your tires when you leave here tonight. <laughs> yeah. End up like your father. You don't fuck around me, Sal, and my boy fucking Joe, baby. We do not, don't question my fucking umami. I'm sorry. I got fucking umami issues. I go to all the umami, I'm a huge umami fan. I'm, I'm an umami's boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, you are an absolute murder. I'm telling you okay, right now, on, on, a, on, a, <laughs> on, a, on a show like this, you know, I'm looking out there right now at a young lady, the great Allie Makovsky over there working the door tonight. Kill Tony legend, was a regular on this show for a couple years. She now opens up for Joe Rogan. She does comedy festivals. She travels the fucking world doing yeah. stand-up. She's an in-demand comedian, and she worked it out and learned a lot on a show like this, and she started young. And, and in, a, in a crazy way, you remind me a lot of her, and uh, it's That's always fun nice. to find someone new and exciting on this show. It's one of the coolest parts of it, and you just made that happen for us tonight. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the yeah. introduction of Ashley Kelly on Kill Thank Tony. You. Thank you. She's on Instagram, at Ashley Kelly, all one word. <laughs> Ashley Kelly. Wow. 23 with the braces. Move over, Amy Schumer. Ashley Kelly has arrived. Move over more, Amy Schumer. No, yes. move over a little more. Keep moving, Amy Schumer. A little bit more, Amy Schumer. 
Heck yeah. And just like some of the greats, like Amy Schumer and Ali Wong, I feel like Ashley's going to be pregnant in no time. Uh. <laughs> this is a fun episode. I fucking feel it. Let's keep the momentum going. Make some noise for your next comedian. He goes by the name of Brandon Thompson, everyone. Brandon Thompson. Oh, right there. First Here guy. Here we go. Uh-oh. Hell yeah. Uh, you uh, can't describe your uh, favorite episode of Law & Order SVU without sounding like a creep. Like, uh, I like the one where the uh, priest fucks the baby. Uh, <laughs> speaking of uh, pedophiles, um, my uncle. Um, my uncle had this uh, hit song in the 70s, and he turned it into a Vegas career. He, uh, he used to open for, uh, for Bill Cosby on the road, and he used to... It's a true story. I was so jealous of my cousins growing up. But, uh, you know, now, uh, now I'm just pretty stoked, you know, that I didn't get raped. Um, and it's not like they ever told me that they were raped. It's just like they carry a certain sadness. You can see it. Um, my mom came out as a lesbian in her late 60s. And, uh, yeah, awesome for her. But it kind of puts me in a weird philosophical bind, right? Because if you do the math, like, I owe my entire existence to homophobia. Um, which, like, honestly, it's a hard cross to bear. But, you know. Uh, there you go. Brandon Thompson. Getting us, getting us going here. Hell hey yeah, there. dude. I like your style, man. Thanks. You're thanks. a lot funnier than you look like you were going to be. Yeah, that's, that's a great good. thing. That's, that's a really awesome. great thing. That's okay, a compliment good. I don't think I've ever given out on this show. Fuck yes. Most guys that come up here with like a big bag Dude, and I shit know, and know. a ball cap like sideways sort of, they usually suck. But you were full of surprises. Numerous punchlines. Fuck yeah. Great I thought stuff. you were doing Postmates. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, you can use the promo code Kill Tony, uh, get $100 uh, the for a week days, free yeah. on uh, Postmates. Yep. Wait, wait, so can I, can I tell you about what's in the bag? Uh, as, long, as long as it's not a gun. Let's get to that in a second. Okay, okay, let's take okay. our time. What's in the okay. bag? Okay. 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 Let's okay, all I'm breathe sorry. here. I'm sorry. You too. Brandon, yes, indeed. My bad. Welcome. My bad. My bad. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? This is time number six. This is your sixth time yeah. ever? Yeah, oh, sixth time ever. Wow, so oh, okay. solid for six times on stage. Mm. How long ago did you start? Um, like, I've just done it a few times. I moved to L.A. like three months ago. and I'm From just, where? Uh, from last I lived in sunny Denny Coco, Denver, Colorado. Very nice. I Heck yeah. <laughs> you left when they legalized mushrooms because Dude, your mission had been accomplished there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck yeah. I grew a bunch of weed when I lived there. Awesome. Uh, I set up like a huge grow room. It was uh -huh. cool. You? I don't believe yeah. it. <laughs> Man, I didn't hear Joel Berg, but you're hot as fuck, girl. Heck yeah. So uh, you just moved here three months ago. What's your living situation? I live in Koreatown with this, like, semi-racist Bulgarian man. Uh-huh. What's so racist about him? What's his least favorite race? Oh, uh... Koreans? He's, like, old... No, he's married to an Asian woman, but he's, like, real, like, old-school European racist. Like, like a, we were talking about the neighbor one day, and he's just like, oh, they called the building inspector on me because they Jews. And I'm like, whoa! Oh, yikes, yikes, yikes. <laughs> yikes. Yeah, that is racist. Um... You have a, a rusting smirk face <laughs> that I enjoy. No, I enjoy it. You know what I like, too? You look like you're having fun. Oh, that, awesome. That's contagious. So I, yeah. when you came up, you just kind of like, you're like bouncing around. Yeah, I'm like and nervous and just like. Mm. Yeah, but it, it still looks like you're having fun with it, which is, which is good. That's really important, especially in the beginning. Like people forget to have fun because it's so nerve wracking. And you came up and it looked like you were already having fun. So I already immediately I was like smiling at you. Sick, thanks. It's funny when, they, when you held up the thing, I was like, oh, I hope they don't call me. Like uh, the only time, it's funny. Thanks. It seems like you have a real grip for uh, stand-up comedy. Have you listened to this show for a while or? Dude, I have been listening to this show on repeat like a crazy person oh, God. lately. Because yeah. um, like I made I work in like, I do like AV stuff for bands and DJs and stuff, uh -huh. and I've toured a lot and done that kind of thing. Yeah. But I make like video shows, and so what I've made is something for Brian, basically. Are you going to pull that out of the bag? Or are we going to get to. All right, to. let's find out what's in the bag. Welcome to another episode of What's in That Bag? Okay, okay there we go. There we go. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh boy. He's pulled out a laptop computer. Okay. 
This is. Are you about to play a video or something? What's happening here? There oh my God. He has a he has a soundboard, ladies and gentlemen. He has the exact same setup as Red Band. Are you are you about to try to take Red Band's job from him? No, I'm trying to give him stuff to play with. Step Whoa. away from the talent. Oh, holy shit! Look at that. Look at really that. Oh my have God, a bunch of cool two oh, that's Oh my goodness! For those of you listening, uh, there is an awesome graphic with the sick. Kill Tony logo and. Oh yeah, cats going around. This okay. is amazing. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's uh, underage, no? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait a second. So, so oh, that's that was badass. Whoa. So, yeah. We'll share yeah. Uh huh. You, you could. Get that, you get the, uh, oh my god. Uh huh. Oh my, my god. That is okay. badass. Okay. Hey, welcome to uh, Kill Tony. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey lady, how about, how about a hand for our new intern, Brandon yeah. Thompson, everybody? <laughs> it's that easy. Show up every Monday and help us out, All okay? Right. Be positive. Be positive, help us. Will you be here on Mondays? Welcome, Brandon Thompson yeah. and the Kill Tony family. That's badass. How cool is that? It's that easy. It's that easy, people. You want to be part of the fucking family? How about you contribute a little bit? Use your goddamn sweet. imagination. That is sweet. Jesus Christ. The guy's got punchlines, and he comes up with fucking gifts no for us. No shit. It's, so going, it's going so well, I feel like someone's going to do terrible. No, who's going to be that person? <laughs> if you're out you there... Are don't get too comfortable. Oh Odds are you're going to suck. You yeah. are so spot on right now. You are so spot on right now. There's definitely about to be a breach in the momentum. <laughs> I'm trying to see. There you go, lady. Can you smile a little bit more like that, please? Yeah, your, your resting bitch face is shocking. Yeah. Yes, it's you. Yes, yes it's you. Go one. choke yourself. The, the one that was like this a second ago. You're okay. There you go. Just smile a little bit. Keep doing it. Somebody tickle this woman. Oh my God. It's just one angry I think you look lady like you're having a blast. <laughs> look, now she's really angry. Now that I called her out on it. She's yelping now. Okay. You guys ready to keep this fun train moving along? Make some noise for your next comedian, Alex Holiday. Here we go. Here he comes. Hey, I like that spotlight. Alex Holiday. Here he comes. Wow. It's exciting. One more time for Alex, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. So just looking at me, I'm sure a lot of you assume I don't know what it's like to be discriminated against. And that's fair, I get it, I get it. Um, but it's not true, I have an Android phone. Yeah, that means I'm judged by the color of my text bubble and not the content of my messages. Um, something a little more personal about me I've never had anal sex before. Yeah. Surprising, right? I look like the kind of guy to be really pushy about it. But, you know. Um, I don't know. I've just never been having sex and thought, this would be way better if there was a chance I get pooped on. I don't know. That's what I got for now, guys. Right. Wow. There he is. Alex Holiday. Uh, yes. First time on the show. First I would remember you. you. Uh, very exciting. Has anyone ever told you you have a very distinct uh, voice before? Yes, of many people. Ray <laughs> Romano. Does yeah, I've heard Ray Romano in slow motion. We Kermit actually have a we actually have a little bit of you singing. Uh, <laughs> oh God! Uh, all right. You you definitely rock that shit at karaoke, right? If you know. <laughs> If I had that kind of confidence, yes. You, oh, you're uh, missing. You could be getting slain so much puss if you just yeah. Kermit in karaoke. Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, You've really never had anal before, huh? Never. Janessa, what do you think I about I was going to say, would you like to? <laughs> I'm from Venice. Meet me by the pier. It's on the table. Uh-oh. Yeah. Janessa, what would you do with this guy if you had oh, anal Oh, I'd alone? fucking slurp him up from his fucking shoes to his fucking... Twos. <laughs> Hell yeah. From his By shoes. twos, I mean his nuts. <laughs> Take him out for a single scoop, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Berg, you are... I'm going to need hairball medication after this one. <laughs> you said no to that. What does that mean? Are you clean-shaven, Alex? 
I take care of things. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to his voice. Oh my god. Oh, it's car <laughs> it Before the night ends, could you leave my outgoing machine message? <laughs> me, thank you so much. Hi, you're very slow about going. Hey, Ma. Can you, you say, hey, Ma? Say what? Hey, Ma. Hey, Ma. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, you're like... You say, hey, you guys. <laughs> yeah, oh, do yeah. it. Just fucking do it and commit. Hey, you guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are incredible. Thank you. My goodness, this is like a... I feel like this is a hiring session for Kill Tony. I feel I like so. I feel <laughs> like you could be the new... Uh, the new. Uh, you could be the guy that introduces Red Band who yeah, introduces me. Oh, here's oh ladies and gentlemen, boy, oh, Red Band. The Here we go. Call me podcast. Oh, wow. Look at you. How old are you? I'm 23. 23, and I'm you like are clearly going through face. super puberty. Yeah, yeah, no, I have. My voice keeps getting lower. When did it, when did, will you, uh, when did that start, the voice like that? Was it your whole life? Oh, no, it was immediate. It was like seventh grade, spring break. Oh. I left like sounding like a small little kid and came back oh, sounding like my this. Oh, my God. Did, yeah, did was, you? One at a time. Chroma Chris. Yes. Looks like you found a machine and wished to be big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So uh, you're 23 years old. 23. How do you make money? Uh, I actually work for my dad. Oh, yeah. yeah. What does he sound like? Does he sound like you, too? No, he sounds younger. Well, less. <laughs> he, he sounds disappointed. <laughs> He's very proud of me. What does your dad do for work? Uh, he owns a like a home theater and alarm company. So oh. yeah, I I wow. like him as I'm like his lead man in the field, which home means I do home theater alarm labor. company. Jeff Henson. So it's an alarm for the home theater. Both no alarm <laughs> like basically anything in your house that like needs an alarm. Like security system. Oh my god, I would buy the shit out of you trying to sell me that yeah. with that fucking voice being like, imagine if an intruder came in <laughs> and was like, let me into this house. Let me into this house. I'd be like, give me the premiere package. Yeah. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Yeah. Have you ever thought about recording your own voice for the alarm? Oh, get out of here. Oh, no, get out of here, Miss Piggy. Wow. I haven't. I haven't. Oh, she came out and had actual, like, you were the first person like that had actually crafted written jokes and punchlines right out of the gate. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. It's incredible. You. How long have you been doing stand-up? Two months. Wow, two months. Incredible. Yeah. Thank you. And you're born and raised here in Los yeah, Angeles. Venice. Venice incredible. Beach. You're You were raised on Venice Turn Beach? that security yeah. system off tonight. I'm coming <laughs> over. Oh, hey. Hell yeah. yeah. Do you have a security system? You still live with your parents? No, I don't. No. Oh, you have your I, own place. Yeah, well, I live with two roommates, but we, have, we each have our own bedrooms. <laughs> Boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. square. You pull mattresses out for each other when you're trying to fuck? Yeah. <laughs> no, we close doors. You got to go to Haley's place. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So you're 23 years old. What do you like to do for fun? You look like you've collected all the Pokemon Go. Pokeballs. <laughs> Done that joke a couple Pokemon. times. Pokemon. <laughs> I did a little bit in my day, but um, oh, you did? You know, yeah, I mean, I hell mean, yeah. But I, I basically work, go to the gym, hang out with friends. Yeah, like, what, what do you uh, work out at the gym? Your voice box? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, sure. this guy, uh, this guy's trachea does yeah. bigger squats than he can. <laughs> go bring a walk on it. Put a kettle. <laughs> you sound like you attach kettlebells to your throat. And just. <laughs> <laughs> they named the dog Indiana. <laughs> yeah, is your father Bane from Batman? <laughs> Son. <laughs> Son, you were born in the dark. Son, you're the man now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've, I've constructed the ultimate security system. <laughs> we found the cure, now we've lost it. <laughs> good oh luck, good luck cracking the code. <laughs> <laughs> I hit women. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh my goodness! What's something else about you, Alex, that we'd be surprised to know about you? Uh, I make kombucha. You make kombucha. Yeah. Oh my god. Actually, surprising. actually, not surprising. Actually, not surprising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. How long you been doing that for? A few months, not a too long. A few months yeah. making kombucha. What's that process like? 
It's you just make tea and leave it in a jar. It's nothing. It's oh, uh, it's uh, way more impressive than it just, actually just, is. Yeah. <laughs> I've been paying six dollars a bottle for what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there's something in the water tonight at this show because yeah, you also amazing. are so young, so new. I don't think you know how funny you are. Thank your you. voice is your, one of your strengths. You're yeah. immediately different from people, and uh, yeah. you're ahead of the game right away, man. I tell you. Yeah. Really do. I was yep. told by somebody. It's true. This is a crazy episode. 23, 23, 24, and then there was Sal Fratelloni, who's probably fucking like, I don't know, 32 or something like that. I'm not, I'm not, I could have said any number. It would have been funny right then. I don't know why. Sal could be any age. He's either 13 or 56. I'm not sure. He's like a fucking, he's somewhere, he's, he's got he's a... He's like boss baby. <laughs> he's like Joe, Joe baby. <laughs> hey, boss baby. Um, but uh, you did it here tonight, Alex. So much fun. Yeah, this is your you first time on the show, first right? Come back. Show. Do first it again. Oh, yeah. We want to know more about him. Alex Holiday, everybody. <laughs> Alex Holiday is on social media, Mr. Holiday. And Brandon Thompson, our newest intern, is on Instagram at Sauce Monster, the movie. Don't, don't say Monster. anything. Don't oh, okay. have somebody steal our new intern. Oh, yeah. Nobody's going to steal our intern. There's Brian with his natural fear and paranoia shining through. His bad karma shining. Oh, oh somebody uh, will steal it if you say his name. Hey, this is the studio audience. You know what I'm talking about. These are all, like, managers and shit. You can tell. There's not been one Joelberg chant the whole night. You guys are shills. Uh, okay, you don't just start it out of nowhere, you fucking drunk idiot. My God, this guy over here visiting from Indiana, Shill. clearly. Wow, there's a mentally retarded man in the audience, everybody. Alex, you're done. Alex. <laughs> no, Alex, there's no more from you, Alex. I'm kidding. That's, my, that's an old friend, Cody. Cody, chill out over there. You relax. You relax in, until your goddamn name gets pulled out of the fucking bucket. <laughs> His, his voice, his, he knows the guy Cody's, Cody's voice has retard strength, everyone. Uh, he's been, Be careful. I, he's, I might fuck that he's guy He's my later. friend. I can talk about him like that. You fucking liberal pussies yeah. in this room fucking tonight. Fucking chills. Just all these women looking at each other like, oh, my God. Can he fucking say that? God, yes. I can say retard. All right? I'm allowed. I have a retarded nephew, and he laughs every time I call him retarded. Anyway. My mom's stupid retarded. There you go. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Jason King, everyone. Here we go. This is a crazy show. Everyone's been fun. A lot of young, uh, up-and-coming comedians. And here we go. Here comes Jason King, everybody. Man, it sucks when you know you're going to want to eat shit, right? All right. Hey, guys. Uh... I was recently told by a lady I have the body of a young Santa Claus, <laughs> which is the most backhanded compliment you can get from a woman, right? On one hand, it's like, hey, you love kids, you love the season. On the other hand, it's like, oh, you're one candy cane away from a diabetic coma. <laughs> oh, you fat piece of shit. I think I have two types of body in one, bear with me. I think the lower half, I think I have the lower half of a young, Spry, George Lucas, <laughs> like Star Wars George Lucas, you know, with the little shorts. Uh, I think I have the upper body, uh, though, of like, uh, like a modern day George Lucas. <laughs> Like, I have, like, rich, sad, white guy body. Like, she's yelling about people, like, cleaning my leg. Like, ooh, daddy, ooh, daddy, clean my leg. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me. Right. Hell yeah, Jason King. Hell yeah. Good save. I love it. I thank love you, thank it. you. Jason King. This is your first time on the show, right? It is. It yeah. was. I was just getting up to put uh, money in my meter. It's a uh, funny story. Uh, oh, is, yeah, that, is, it's that what you, is that what you call masturbating in a bathroom stall? <laughs> the money in your meter? Is that what you... Did you see that? Is that what you saw? Hell yeah. It's a pleasure to uh, pleasure to have you on the show, Jason King. Or Thank as, you. Or as I call you, Drew Scary. Ooh. Three, four! Uh, nice. Hell yeah. If I only had that kind of money, I'd, 
I would love that. Yes, indeed. Maybe what, a skinnier body. How long have you been doing stand up comedy? Uh, a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two years. All here in LA? Here in LA, Long Beach, uh, in Orange County, uh, when I was in Long Beach. But yeah, two years, lived in K Town, now I'm in downtown LA. Oh, boy. What do you do for work? What kind of uh, videos do you edit for a living? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you oh help no! Us out? Yeah, no. I I'm a freelance uh, video production editor. <laughs> ah. Nailed it! Fuck yeah! I mean, yeah. I could just Jesus feel Christ, it. I, I, Sal. That's how you. That's how you be on brand, Sal. That's <laughs> it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> So how long you been uh, how long you been um, editing uh, for? Uh, you know, uh, a couple of years. Started hey. out doing uh, homemade stuff, and then yeah. now I'm funniest home videos. Funniest home videos, yeah. Masturbation. Funniest masturbation home videos. Okay, correct. there yeah. we go. Yes, yeah, I'm big on on Pornhub. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you? Uh, what else are you into? What do you do for fun? Uh, I just started a wiffle ball league in downtown. If Ooh, you guys like, a, that actually sounds pretty fucking. Yeah. Cool. If you guys want to get wasted and play wiffle ball in downtown, we do it every Saturday. I love that. Wiffle ball seems like one of those things that uh, I would normally suggest. Like I sometimes I do that. Like, oh, you seem like a fun guy. What do you do for fun? Fucking uh, wiffle ball. Like I <laughs> wish I would have thought of that. Because that would have been crazy if I thought of that this week. And like if like, I yeah. had a wiffle ball in my head, and then you're like, actually, I'm in a wiffle ball league. I'd have you like pull out paperwork. <laughs> To confirm it. It's crazy because wiffle ball is the only sport I believe you played. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. he plays croquet. Croquet. Yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I like wiffle ball. I uh, I played racquetball in college. Wow. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, trying to. Wow, you know, I'm wet. <laughs> party machine. My goodness gracious. So wiffle ball, what else? Wiffle what you, ball. You have uh, a girlfriend? Yeah, live with my girlfriend in downtown. Yeah, yeah. how long you been with her? Uh, two years. Why do two I get years. the feeling that she looks exactly like you? Uh, she could. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Two Man, years. Now I gotta think about it. What? <laughs> Jason, oh, I'm shit. Sorry. Co correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't mean any disrespect, but you seem like a guy who likes to have fun. I'd love to party. Yeah, love to have, love to have a good time. Love to go out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I enjoy I enjoy staying out late, staying up late. Yeah. You look like you drink Pabst Blue Ribbon tall cans near pinball machines a lot. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy pinball. Yeah, I'm in a pinball league. Is that true? No, I'm not. Oh, that would have okay, been, yeah. That been pretty tight, though. Wow. So yeah. what, is your, what does your girlfriend do? Uh, she works at a big company uh, for, um, it's like a car marketing company okay yeah good enough for me yeah uh, where'd you meet her at uh i met her off tinder whoa heck yeah so it's gonna last i'm excited My this is the goodness. one heck yeah yeah so you went out on that first date what'd you guys do we went to a bar that's no longer open uh-huh <laughs> yeah typical la uh it was called now boarding I don't know if you guys ever went. It was like no. a 60s airplane theme. Like yeah, that Pan sounds Am. cool. Yeah, it was like Pan Am, but in a bar. Wait, airplane themed? I would wow. love to go there. Yeah. I'm obsessed with airplanes, everybody. Uh. <laughs> I want to be, be a commercial airline pilot, everyone. That, is, that does sound pretty fucking awesome. I'm it not surprised it closed down because if you took a girl there, she was probably underage. Yeah. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> Tony's really on brand with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like him young. No, um... Is your girlfriend young? Younger than you? She's younger than me, yeah, definitely. How, how much younger? Uh, Ballpark it. Enough. Yeah. yeah. Younger than... Ugh. Wow. Yeah. Younger, does, does it rhyme wow, with... Wow, Sal got upset. She's like two years younger. Relax. Calm uh, down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Why you're the you? one who said it all fucking ominously. I know, right? Like, you blame me. me. You're like, so enough. <laughs> she's so young. I'm she's like, whoa. And you're like, calm down. It's 24 months. Yeah. yeah. She's only two years younger than you. So she's like 47. <laughs> Perfect. She's uh, 44. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So close. <laughs> Are you 46? I'm 46 years oh, old. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so... Really? Absolutely. No, I'm twenty. I'm twenty-four years old, guys. <laughs> wow. Keeping it. I'm keeping it young. I'm twenty-four. <laughs> it's unbelievable. 
He guessed your exact age as a joke. Uh, it's and sad. it was it's your sad. age. It's sad that he thinks that's my age. I love that. That's oh, good. oh, it's not your age. No, bro. Keep up Wait, with the joke. Wait, how old are you? I mean, why don't you just tell the truth, you fucking idiot? Oh, no, he was doing a joke. I was doing the, a bit on a bit. What do you doing a joke? You don't need to do the jokes. Tell the truth. We interview you, you fucking moron. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> By the way, I've never met a guy. I've never met a guy that looks both like Drew Carey and Mimi from the Drew Carey <laughs> show before. It's true. That's yeah, how you yeah, pull off both. That's good. I've just never gotten to make that joke before. Hey, when you go out and pay that meter, check the tread, all right? Check the tread on the tires. All right. Well. As I leave, <laughs> I feel like, all right. How old are you? Uh, 33. Oh. 33. All right. Very good. Uh, it should concern you that we all thought you were 46. <laughs> uh, I believed it. No, yeah. I get it. I might, might want to yeah, start. I see uh, it. I see uh, it. Maybe some uh, lo- extra water intake. And, Definitely. Uh, yeah. And More water. Face, face, comb. Face yeah. lotion. Face lotion. These are all good tips. Can I? Can I? Can I just talk about your set for one sec? Please go yeah, right ahead. If I, can. I would. I would try next time you go up. Right. Try to deliver the exact same material. Just. Just as close to your own regular talking voice and your own personality as possible. I thought it was a little performancey, and it felt a little bit inauthentic to me because, oh. like, you were almost like kind of like trying a little too hard with the way you delivered it. I thought that I would have enjoyed it more if because after I see you talk as sure. yourself, I think that's good enough. I like a little bit more energy because I feel like I'm a little too. Yeah, the energy uh, was great. Too mimi sometimes, you know, a little down. No, the energy was great. You could still have energy, but. St- be more in your own authentic voice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a good tip. Yep. Okay. Because you have natural energy. So let the natural energy shine. Right? All right. Does that make sense to I you? I like that. Yeah. Jason King, ladies and Guys, gentlemen. Thank you there so he much. goes. Jason King. All of them. Uh, so on this show, Sal, you know that we have a regular every single week. And uh, I'm not sure. Have you been here since William Montgomery became the regular? Ooh, I don't, I don't know if I remember Ooh, that name. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. Malcolm uh, has moved on. He's in the new uh, Justin Roiland video game. Yeah. Things are going good for our old VR. friend Malcolm. And uh, since then, we have acquired uh, who seems to be one of the most popular regulars of all time. He's been doing it 12 years. He has a very distinct style. Um, of improvisational uh, joke. I don't know how to describe it. He's a very powerful beast of a comedian. He's one of my favorite things in all of comedy. And he wow. is performing a brand new minute for you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the great William Montgomery, everybody. Here we go. Here he comes. Wow. Yeah. I'm excited about this. Come on, guys. Make some fucking noise for William Montgomery. I've uh, I've been going to the airport a lot lately, not flying on planes, but stealing people's shit. Uh, you're going to Jacksonville. Your bag's not. You're flying in Russia. I've heard bad things about the airspace. Your bag's not following you. Man, get off my cape. That is he, Black Dracula? Um, so it's hard doing cocaine with Dracula because whenever we're bent down in front of the mirror, uh, I can't see his fucking reflection. <laughs> hey, Dad, uh, just put it in the tarantula bag. I don't know if uh, y'all are familiar. Fa- <laughs> God, how's it? Hell yeah, William. Another, another new minute. Did, did you have something there at the end, or were you just stalling for time with the I don't know if you're familiar with? Did you have something you wanted to do? Did I just picture I'm, I'm such a huge fan, so I'll, I just... Well, do you my mind name standing, is Sal, but thank do you. Do you mind... <laughs> Sal is my name, but I appreciate your fandom. I just Friendship. remember one of my uh, favorite sketches you did, pulling pranks on people. You put that tarantula in, in, the, uh, in the sack during Halloween, just all the kids getting the candy, and you had the tarantula in the sack, and was the that kid you, would... Was that you, Sal? Do you remember doing this? What, he, no, I, I, I am not sure that's me. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> One of the things William does is sometimes it, it appears as if though he makes stuff up, and then we. If he, but if you roll with it, he just keeps. Uh, he keeps going. Oh. Yes, Al. I think it was in '96. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant on the show, which started in 2011. '96, I did. Yeah, that. no, '96. <laughs> we're hanging out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so crazy. Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all will never believe this. Sal was putting tarantulas in, uh, in the Halloween bags. God. You told me you'd never say anything. I knew one day you would, and you know now that now you did. I can't believe this. Sal was uh, uh, 23. I was 16. It's so nice, <laughs> yeah, seeing you again. Yeah, you too. You too. Why didn't mm. you guys ever stay in contact after that? What oh happened? no, we did. We did. Oh, I just okay. haven't seen him this week. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we're very good friends. We're both on AOL. We uh, you've got me. Yeah. He's yeah. Fun Mount 69 at AOL. Mm -hmm. Right? In your Pat 106. Pat right? 106. Yeah. 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 Instant message. I love it. Uh, that's so fun. So, William, uh, we missed you in New York. You were not able to get off of the self storage unit job that you have, that you actually work. That is an actual truth that you work at a self storage place. It is. I couldn't get off. My boss actually watched. I was talking about getting fired. I didn't get fired. Your your boss, but my boss watched saw me the calling her a bitch. Your your which was horrible. Your boss really watched last week's episode. She did. Why? Which pissed me off. I again, last Monday the crazy. He told us who. I always tell him don't tell your boss yeah. to watch because then you can't. You can prohibit yourself. She watched. He tells her to watch. He says bitch. Now he's in trouble at work. Tell him about it. Yeah. Tell us more. Yeah. I mean, if if she could have only seen Sal, you and I, it was so fun. Just ninety six. Yeah. Atlanta, Georgia, just just thinking about making pipe bombs, just being in that house. I know. Just ending up putting the them under the so bleachers. Yeah, they it was so hot. hot. It yeah. was so hot. It was humid too, right? It was a nightmare. Mosquitoes everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had the deed, the, the deep woods deed. So it was a big. We had deep wood yeah. deed. This uh, episode tonight is dedicated to deep wood deed. Fun fact about uh, fun fact about William and mosquitoes. I actually know this. He actually bites mosquitoes. I okay. do. Not a lot of people know this about me. I have really sharp front teeth, so I can. Uh, <laughs> it's actually yeah. a sound. Do y'all hear? Do y'all know what a mosquito sound like? I yeah. can't. I can't. That's a. The sweet, sweet sound of mosquitoes. <laughs> Mousekitoes. Mousekito. Uh, so, William, um, did you ever find the person's number that offered you a much better paying job with working your own hours and you'd be able to do comedy at places? I never did. What was her name? Let's call her out right at. Can she give me her number again? I, I know she's a fan of the show. I know that they come here quite often. So I figure if we just keep talking about it eventually, then maybe they'll track you down. Um or, uh, or something like or that. Or maybe not. That's what I'm worried about. If I'll be quite frank, I don't think I've I told this to anybody, but when my comedy doesn't work out out here, I picture myself moving back to Memphis, becoming an eighth grade English teacher. William. All black, inner city school, maybe Frazier, maybe Southside, getting into dog gambling across the tracks, West Memphis, Arkansas, just starting to lose. William, and, do you have a website? Do you have a website? I do. What is it? <laughs> William? <laughs> it is there's called AOL.com. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. The reason why I ask is because today's episode is brought to you by Wix. Wix is the best and easiest place to create a professional website. With Wix, you can start from scratch or choose from over 500 stunning templates. They have the world's most innovative drag-and-drop website builder, so you can easily customize your site and add text, images, videos, whatever you want. You can even use Wix ADI, Artificial Design Intelligence. Just answer a few simple questions about you or your business, and Wix will create a stunning website for you. You, you, you know, know a lot about this, Brian. Yeah, I, used to, I went to college for, uh, to, to make websites, and... I thought it was a great thing until everyone wanted me to make them a website. That was one of the most annoying things that I had to deal with like five years ago. This website, you just do a couple of things and you have I don't a website. Know, I don't know if you Hey, shut up! I'm talking! Keep going, Brian. I am just so passionate about Wix, you know, because it is... <laughs> 
anybody can do this. You know, it, it's just drag and drop. It's amazing. And I don't get those phone calls anymore because everybody could do it. If you could do a, a couple things with your fingers, you can make an awesome website. And if you go to Wix.com slash Tony, you get 10% off any premium plan. You can start building your website and publish it for free. So once more, join over 150 million people who have built their website using Wix. Go to Wix.com slash Tony to get 15 to get 10% off any premium plan. That's 10%. Mm, you said 15. <laughs> Everybody heard it. Everybody heard it. Son of a bitch. 15%. You have to honor it. I think this is a, a good uh, good time to plug my website. It's Tic Tac Toe 2. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. W William, did AOL. anything else? Com. William. It's a very competitive website if you're into oh internet God. gambling. Yes. William. <laughs> 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 you're unbelievable. Uh, heck yeah. Everything, Let me, everything you say is <laughs> so stupid <laughs> <laughs> that it's hysterical. You're really you're hysterical. Sal, can you get me on the show? <laughs> Sal, will you get me on the show? <laughs> you, you <laughs> William, give me on the show! Give me on the show! <laughs> Sal, give me on the show! Sal, give me on! Sal, please! I got a lot right on this! I don't want to move back to Memphis. I don't want to work at Fraser. I'll tell you what, buddy. I can't teach English. William, William. Look at me. I don't bet on dogs. William, hey, William, over here. I never, I never do this, and I've never done this, but absolutely not. Hey, there you go. However, you can go to Wix.com slash Tony, and you'll get 10% off any yeah, premium plan, way William. better. How about one more time, good and loud, for the great Thank and powerful you. William Montgomery, everybody. Hell yeah. There he goes, the great William Montgomery. Heck yeah. What do you guys think? Should we go back to this bucket one more time, huh? The people, in the, the people in the, on the second level didn't clap at all, so I guess that's it, right? Should we go to the bucket one more time? All right, fine. Fucking people. Mm -hmm. Put your hands together for your final comedian of the night, Austin Garcia, everybody. Austin Garcia. Austin Garcia. Hi, I'm Austin. You'll have to forgive me. I'm a huge introvert, so it physically pains me to hear my own name sometimes. Man, whoo, here we are. The, the bouncer was ruthless. He was like, all right, everyone get against the wall, tightly packed together. I was like, all right, we're doing slave ship comedy tonight. <laughs> this Me Too movement is crazy. Funny thing about the Me Too movement, Harvey Weinstein was caught on video extorting women for sex, but the first guy to go to jail was a black guy. But that's okay, I'm glad Bill Cosby went to prison. He's gonna be the only father figure those criminals have ever had. <laughs> well, you see, Warden, T-Dog is not a bad guy. He's just a little misguided. <laughs> oh, man, okay, wow. I finish my sets just like sex really fast. Less than a minute, apparently, so that's all I got. <laughs> Yeah. One more time for Austin Garcia, guys. That's fun. Hell yeah. yeah. Taking a break from training with Rocky Balboa to be here tonight. Yes. This is very exciting, Austin. Big gloves, tiny t-shirt. I like your style. Thank you. Heck yeah. Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. All of it in Los Angeles? Uh, yes. All of it here in LA. Is this where you're from? Uh, I'm from Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah, that, that's why I sound so square. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> wow. For sure. Yeah. That, that is a Connecticut thing. Um, Connecticut has some of the most, uh, like, really just plain people, right? Yes. It's notorious uh, for that. What part of Connecticut? Uh, Stratford, small town, southern Connecticut. It's a very nice town, though, right? Sort of Greenwich-esque? Very nice, yes. Yeah. What do your parents do? 
Uh, my dad has worked at a carpet store his entire life, and my mom is a... Uh, Works at the gas company. Oh, wow. And Very when cool. did these nice white people adopt you? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh. <laughs> Have you always worn those gloves? I'm like, what's the reason for the gloves? Fashion or just because... Uh, my hands just don't like to be naked. Really? Yeah. So you're just as introvert as I am. Weird thing with your hands. Absolutely. What can we see your hands and you see if they're a little well, weird? Well, no, looking? we don't need to see his hands, Brian. I don't know how great of podcasting right. that would be. Feet. Um, no, it's okay. We don't need to see his body parts, Brian. <laughs> right. um, so, do you do that all the time, or just for stand-up comedy? Uh, just for stand-up. Heck yeah, I like that. Uh, w- when did you realize that you don't like your hands exposed during stand-up comedy? Was it av- a few months in, something like that? I was like, working at the office and I was typing on the computer and I was like, you know what? Fuck these guys. Cover uh-huh. them up. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, a real Connecticut rebel. <laughs> exactly. I love it. The only person I've ever met that cannot do a Bill Cosby impression. <laughs> it's Can an I- easy one. <laughs> it's an easy one, so... Well, you see. No, okay. no, 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 no. It's unbelievable. It's great. It was okay. great. I thought it was hysterical that you couldn't do it. It was believably unbelievable. The, you're fascinating. The, the, the introvert part about you, your regular personality, your resting person is so interesting to me. I, I'm trying to figure out in, in a minute. I couldn't. You were all over the place with, with the comedy because you started with the introvert thing, and I was like, oh. And then you went into like Bill Cosby stuff, and I was like, I want to hear more specifically about you and you being an introvert, if that helps you in any way. Okay. Wait, what, right now? You know, in life, you know, just in just comedy. You know, just the reason you're here tonight and, me, you know, help, us helping and stuff. So. Uh, I didn't always want to be a comedian. Mm. I've been an introvert my entire life, and then one day at 25, I had a panic attack that lasted like a week, and I was like, wow, I'm going to die if I don't start living my life, so right on, man. Right. I am. I, I love That's that. That's awesome. I'm going to die anyway, but you know, might as well live my life. No, it is hard enough to get up here. Yeah. But it's so, I don't know if the, the, the casual you know, person that comes here, a patron, realizes how nerve-wracking, scared, you probably think about it all week, when you yeah. decide you're going to do it, you put your name in there, you're probably sitting in the back, you Butterflies and something. To be an introvert on top of that, I really, really applaud you. I commend you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. No doubt about it. Um, And uh, I'll tell you what, we're just going to have a quick one with you, and we're going to move on to the uh, next one. Sign up again, will you? Yeah. There he goes, Austin Garcia. Let's do something fun. Okay, uh, we're going to do something fun right now. Uh, as you know, when we do shows on the road, there is a very rare, very rare thing that happens sometimes where uh, if someone absolutely fucking destroys Sal and if they destroy the interview and if we find them to be an amazing character, it's only happened, I believe, four, maybe five times in the history of the show, there is a thing that it can be one called the golden ticket, which means that any time that they ever come to the comedy store in L.A., they get to do a new minute like a regular at the comedy store. This guy got it in Phoenix, Arizona. He's made the long drive today. I happen to know for a fact he sent me a message earlier. He came with his mother. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Phoenix's own, the great Tristan Bowling, everyone. Here we go. Oh, how we doing, Kill Tony, huh? Yeah, fuck yeah. A lot of my friends are scared of having daughters. Listen, a lot of them are scared. They're like, yo, what if she's a slut? You know, which is progressive as shit. You know, like, dude, I don't fucking care. I don't care if my daughter's a slut. As long as she's fucking winners. That's all I want from her. Dude, all I do, I want my daughter's pussy to look like a Hall of Fame. Just jerseys, you know? You walk in, there's just like handprints on basketballs. You can try on rings and shit. It's like an NBA zone, dog. Get an appetizer. It's sick. Dude, it's fucking trill, dog. That'd be so sick. Dude, I want to text my daughter in the middle of the night, just be like, yo, baby, where are you? And she sends me a photo, just like a dick in one hand and a trophy in the other. And I'm just like, yo, tell Travis I said hey, you know? Okay, I'm the only progressive parent here? Sick. I get it, dude. I want my daughter to be swallowing champions. Swallowing. I'm raising a president, all right? <laughs> Thanks, my name's I mean, wow. 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 Wow, 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 wow. 
My motherfucking boy, Tristan Bowling. <laughs> Again, you know, just one of the coolest things about this show is that I get to take some type of pride and, uh, in my own mind, a little bit of ownership over uh, finding some of the fucking coolest com young comedians around the goddamn country. Thank you, Tony. Every Thank time you've come on this show, you've destroyed your energy and fucking stuff. I feel like you are what Pete Davidson wants to be. <laughs> oh. I mean, my God, if your dad died in 9-11, you'd be so famous right now. It'd be <laughs> oh, insane. Oh, dude. Oh, I wish. I wish. Tower too soon? All right. Oh, dude. I'm just waiting for a tragedy, dog. I'm just waiting for a tragedy I'm, to propel me up. I'm telling you. Know you. I, mean? I mean, your style is just incredible. You look like a guy that's going hunting in the ghetto. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ross VIP. You are so cool. Like, My mom tell me I look like a SoundCloud rap group. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's like too. I'm hunting out in the wilderness trying to find <laughs> elk. You know? <laughs> That's me, dog. That's me. My mom's here. Give it up Where's for her. Where's she at? Wow. Where's she at? Where's my mama? Where's my Can mama? Can I actually see what your mom looks Where's like? Mama bowling. I Is she back my there? Mama. Oh, hey. she's over there. Hey, mama. You What's get in the going back. On? Yeah. Is she cool? Yeah, she's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She let me smoke blunts in the car on the way over here, so that's points. Hey, that's points. Hey, mama. That's points. That's points right mama. there. I ain't putting you in a home just yet, bitch. We rolling. Hey, I love that. We rolling together, ride or die. Dude, I that bitch pushed me out. I'm happy about it. I love your style. I mean, you are just so fucking cool. I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask, uh, Sal, what do you think about what do you, uh, before I check in with you? I'm gonna check in with Sal. This is your first time seeing Tristan yeah. Bowling. Yeah, very nice to meet you. Nice by to the meet way. you. Nice to meet you. I'm just trying to figure you out, man. I'm just trying yeah. to. <laughs> I'm staring at you. I'm trying to. I'm really sizing you up here, buddy. Uh, no, you dude, I out. dress like this everywhere, dog. I got dripping head to toe. You can't fuck with me. Remind man. us again how old you are, Tristan. I'm 21. I just turned 21. 21. Oh, that's right. Yeah. A fun yeah. fact about him is he won the golden ticket at the age of 20, and he literally turned 21 two days later, cashed in, made the drive that Monday, one day after you turned 21 or yeah, two days yeah, after. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now it's been cashing in so much that we have to think about the rules of the golden ticket. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was actually going to wonder. I'm like, how many times are these guys gonna let me up here? What the fuck? But I'm glad uh, you, you keep you keep doing what you're doing, dude. I, I promise you, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna limit you until you start bombing. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I'm trying so hard not to eat shit up here. It's fucking terrifying, <laughs> you're man. Doing great. Tristan, is this your on a stage persona or is this your fashion in everyday life for real? Oh, fashion everyday life for real, man. Uh, like, yeah. my mom knows, like, I got an extensive closet at home. It's fucked up. I go to Goodwill way too much. Okay. Yeah, I go, I, dude, I go there, they know me by name. There's four in my, like, close 10 mile vicinity. We call it the quad. It's sick. Wow. <sighs> Dude, it's so Sound, fucking... That sounds uh, crazy, yeah. Yeah, dude, dude. You can get so much shit. Dude, people are just dying and giving up gold. It's fucking sick in Phoenix, dog. <laughs> it's so sick. People walk out smelling like memories, dog. It's sick. <laughs> I'll tell you what. So Tony gave you this introduction, and I respect him so much. And so I was like, I can't wait for this, because that's big words from him, you know? Yeah. yeah and then you course. came up, and I immediately hated you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Immediately. I immediately, <laughs> but then You're like I like everyone no, I went to high no, school no, no, with. No, no, but then I immediately, immediately liked you. Yeah. So like I judge you for a half a second, and then about you, 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 you hooked me about ten seconds in. I immediately was just like, okay, this is like it kind of put on, and then after ten seconds, I was like, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I like you. Thank yeah. you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I like, I like to dress myself well. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's true. I remember having the exact same thing, which is a, I think that's a sign of a, of a lot of the, a lot of, a, a lot of, I feel like that's the thing with a lot of great comedians. Sometimes some people just have a vibe where it's like, who the fuck does this guy think he, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like I remember, I, I literally remember saying to you in Phoenix when I first saw you, like I said something like, you seem like the kind of guy that hates on me on every post on social media. Yeah, like, from yeah, a different yeah, screening. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then six minutes later, I was giving you the fourth ever golden ticket ever given in this show's history out of thousands of people that have been on the show. And I didn't even have to suck your dick for it. That's Mr. true. Tony the Hitchcock. other the other four people and I'll let you still know. sucking. You, don't, you can't see Water. them now. They're under. Uh, <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Tony I turns. also give out golden tickets. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah? I'm ready to start swallowing champions tonight. <laughs> yeah. 
What would you What would you do with this young buck? You know, his mom drove him here tonight. What would you do with this? You want to drop me home? I want to drop you in my pussy right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want to rebirth you. <laughs> Tristan, what do you think about Janessa? Is this your type of girl over here? Beautiful. I mean, of course. Take off the towel. What's under the oh, towel? Oh, what's under the towel, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you, what are you covering I had to take up? the sock off. My balls were hurting. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? What did I, you s- I, I mean, my pussy. I had a... <laughs> so, um, the front of these bathing suits are... They're very narrow. (laughs) So I had this, but it was squeezing my clit. (laughs) Oh, God. Stinted labial burn. uh, The black sock. I had to take that off, but. What kind of clit do you have where a black sock? I got a hanger. So (laughs) far, you're selling me. I want you. (laughs) You have a hanger of a Uh. pussy? Oh, my God. <laughs> you got the axe like a look box. At, look at that truck, ass. Dude. She really was born and raised in California. You can <laughs> tell. She's got that trademark California girl ass. Just the, just uh, you could you could fucking write football plays on it. It's so beautifully flat. My my ex used to project movies onto it. <laughs> Wow, I mean, when I say I love this fucking episode of Kill Tony, I mean it from the bottom of my goddamn heart. Tristan Bowling, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Follow me on Instagram. Tristan is a comedian. Everybody, good night. I love Kill Tony. Tristan is a comedian. We love him here on Kill Tony. How loud can this place get for the great and powerful Sal Volcano? Look at this drawing from the great Ryan J. Ebelt, everybody. He did that throughout the show while you sat around laughing. He made this drawing. Every print of every episode is available at ryanjebelt.com, including all the famous Kill Tony travel posters and anniversary posters. Sal, you have any dates or uh, anything else coming up we should be on the lookout for? Uh, yeah, I'll plug two things. We have a cruise uh, in um, February, okay. and that's on sale now. You come on a cruise with us. And uh, the it. Wilbur, and if Boston's listening, oh, I'm yeah. after Wilbur for a few nights in uh, December. Boston's mm-hmm. always listening. We love Boston, yes. and we also have an announcement coming up for uh, our friends over in Boston and Providence and uh, all around the world. Be on the lookout for next week's big touring announcements. How about Chroma Chris leading the front of the band? Uh, the front man, the front man tonight. Look at this guy. What do you think about tonight's episode, Dax? Oh yeah, uh, it's surely gonna be making some waves, Tony. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come on, really, one last time. How loud can you get for Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's on social media, mostly sorry. He absolutely annihilated at Skankfest in a great many ways, and he just finished his first ever uh, Super World Tour with us. Anything else, Joel? I, I want to thank everybody at Skankfest, all the staff, everybody. It was such a great time, one of the best so times of my we. life. Thank I'm, you. So do we. I'm telling you, all you diehard comedy fans listening, I've warned you year after year that Skankfest is the best comedy festival in the world. Truly, Luis J. Gomez is on another level. Christine, Rebecca, Big J, everybody, thank you so much for being so great for comedy. Yes. It's an unbelievable thing that I implore all of you to look into. Uh, you know, we were hanging out with Bill Burr, talked about me and Red Band today on his podcast. Yeah. I was having a conversation with Louis C.K. about Kill Tony yeah. two days ago. <laughs> what? Uh, anything can happen. Be on the lookout. Have fun with yourselves. We love you for coming out. Thank you guys so much. Thank Have you guys. a great night. Tony, 